Hello everyone, and welcome to the utter, complete, magnificent carnage that is reacting to our Premier League predictions. So, let's cut straight to the chase here. These predictions are possibly the worst predictions ever made by mankind. They are an embarrassment to the species. But, you know, we're going to react to them anyway because it will probably be quite funny. <laughs> It's going to be terrible. 20th, I put Leeds United. Actual 9th. I got minus 11 for that one. I think I'm going to need an actual formal pardoning from the Queen for that. I think that's actually illegal. I might be sent to prison for that. You know, at the beginning of the season, I didn't know much about them, so... Uh, it's, it's still terrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. Do you know what... The, this, the, these predictions are so bad, they're borderline offensive. I could have them Italian Mafia on me any second now. But, I mean, look at these. I'm just going to quickly give you a second to cry and probably laugh at the same time as the predictions on the screen. Just, pff, what is this absolute madness? <clears throat> anyway, Sheffield players have finally remembered their roots and decided to forget they were in the Premier League and instead the third Zimbabwean league. Or just my Sunday league football team, which is equally as bad. <laughs> David Moyes probably saw my prediction video and laughed so hard he lost his voice. Then again, he was doing that for most of the predictions made by everybody this season. Uh, it might look like I'm trying to justify my predictions, but genuinely, I wanted to put West Ham higher as a Brighton fan last season paying close attention to the teams in the relegation zone I thought this West Ham team could do quite well but you know I love to make jokes about West Ham being bad so I decided uh yeah how did Liverpool end up third I mean they were practically paid to let down fans there's no excuses this was a terrible 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 prediction at one point Spurs were at the top of the table now they would not even considered a top six club You've got some really big British clubs and Tottenham as well. This wouldn't be a Premier League programme without us having to roast Spurs every three seconds. So, yeah. Brighton season was like somebody put last season on repeat. They had showed promise, they had a good start, and then they became so unable to hit the target that they probably can't eat because they can't hit the target of their mouths. But, you know, we beat Man City, so all is forgiven. Let's talk about Chelsea. <laughs> Actually, um, <clears throat> let's not. On second thoughts. No, no, no. I literally said in the prediction video, I can't see any reason why they would struggle this season. For some reason, there are lots of people who think that Sheffield United will struggle this season. Why? I got a strong defence, a good counter. This Sheffield United team are possible challengers for Europe. And that's really backfired. This prediction is probably, like, so bad that somewhere there's an earthquake. <laughs> because it was such a bad prediction. I apologise to all Leicester City fans watching this for forgetting they're not relegation worthy anymore. And apparently they can actually prove they are title competitors. Now the next one is pretty good. Seventh, Tottenham Hotspur. Actual... Wait for it. Wait for it. They actually finished 7th. They finished 7th. I got it right. I, I mean, it was the most obvious prediction in the whole video. Because it's Tottenham. But I got one right. I can tell the future. Arsenal have clearly lived up to their name. I mean, Arsenal just, like... What kind of a club are they anymore? I mean... Their own supporters are saying they hate the club now. I hate everything about this club. I don't recognise this club no more. I mean, Arsenal fan TV in the bin now. They're, they're being trolled all, all on YouTube and everything. And, you know, it's just a shame that the players aren't putting in the effort and a club once so great has been reduced to ashes. And now there's nothing left, and I don't think they'll be bouncing back anytime soon. So I think this is really the end of Arsenal as we know it. Three hours later. I mean, it's only a matter of time before the Emirates blows up. I mean, the, like 
the players must have enough of this. Like, there might be, like, there must be, like, more, like, attacks coming on the Emirates, like, flybys where bombs are dropped. There might even be World War Three over the of the whole London area, North London, wherever the heck Arsenal is based. A few moments later. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the Queen got involved. I mean, she's an Arsenal fan, right? So why doesn't she just come in and blow it up? Man United weren't even bad this season. It's so unfair. They weren't even bad. I was confident that they would be bad at the start of the season. They're bad every season since Ferguson left. But they weren't even bad. So annoying. My only respect for Liverpool comes from the points that they've racked up this season. <coughs> nice. I think I deserve to be sent to hell for this prediction. This is ludicrous. Arsenal are always bad. All you need to do is predict them to be bad and you can get a guaranteed good prediction. But I couldn't even do that. Ah, it's nice to see Brighton are finally showing their worth by not getting relegated. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. You've been listening to the total atrocity that is our Premier League predictions. Thanks to Jamie for his editing, and good night, or good morning, depending on where you are.